All right. Good evening, everybody. I see that we have <laughs> we have 20 people, 26 people already <laughs> in and waiting. So welcome, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good evening. Um, it looks like we have a lot of chat to catch up on. It looks like people were in early and excited. I have no idea why. I've got Will, aka Project Kane, here. Uh, <laughs> Will, if you want to wave to everybody. <laughs> since they can't yeah. actually see you. Um, welcome, thank you for joining me, I appreciate it. Uh, this should be a really fun time tonight. Um, as you guys know, we're gonna build uh, the Curio prototype. Uh, we're gonna build mine. I did uh, some custom work to it, if you will, although uh, it has a Jake coat. Um, there's some really cool things about this board. I, I really cannot wait uh, to show you guys here in a few minutes. Um, rocking the Phoenix on the desk today. Uh, because Will's here and got to show my love for his boards and how good they are. Um, and this one is a tank. If you guys have, if you guys have never held a Phoenix or had a chance to type on it, uh, I hope you get a chance because it is very good. And I will say, Will, I've said this a whole bunch. Uh, this is the best anodization I've ever seen on a keyboard period. And it's really a shame that CT doesn't do them anymore. So, right. Absolutely. Oh, well, um, but very, very happy with the sport. I really do love it. Um, but let's start. Let's uh, give a shout out to some of the people here. Uh, first time chat from, <laughs> and I, again, I'm always horrible with names. Morod70 says we're here. So welcome. Um, we've got a bunch of people already entering the raffle. And uh, I'm going to go through. We do have uh, J5XL subscribed at tier one. Thank you very much. I genuinely appreciate that, as always. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm at 345 followers. Uh, so we're, we're closing in on 350, which is really exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to breaking that kind of, that mark and continuing on. So I do appreciate the growth and the, the subs and everybody's continued support. It means a lot for sure. So uh, Darth Foster subscribed at tier one. He's subscribed for five months. He's currently on a three month streak. So thank you, Darth, as always. I really appreciate your support for sure. Uh, we got a bunch of new people just raffle. Hey, and I don't blame you. Uh, VSED, first time chat. Hello, hello, welcome. I hope you're uh, hope you're having a nice night. Thank you for joining. I appreciate that. A bunch of people. Nikki Muzi, raffle, <laughs> welcome. Stardust Centurion, raffle, <laughs> welcome. A bunch of people with the raffle for sure. I see uh, first time chat from Project Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, Man, we've got we've got most of the crew in here already, which is really awesome. Uh, Camburger C uh, subscribed with Prime. They are subscribed for five months, so thank you. And he says, "Yo, yo, howdy, forties gang. Glad to have you in here, Cam. Appreciate it as always." Uh, Jonesy Lewis, first time chat, says, "So excited." Yeah, you should be. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a ton of fun. So I'm really, uh, again, looking forward to it. This is going to be a, a really good board. I have a lot to say about it already. Um, I have been using one for the last two days, and we'll show that one later at the end of stream. Um, Will was kind enough to give me two. <laughs> I'm only keeping one, but he was kind enough to give me two for sure. So uh, genuinely appreciate let me do that. A bunch of people. Uh, Tears for Beers. Curio, Curio, Oreo, Ontario, Stereo, Cheerio. <laughs> I like it, Tears. Thank you so much. And uh, as always, everybody, good luck tonight with the raffle. Uh, completely RNG. I let the cloud bot from Streamlabs do its thing. So uh, if you have not entered yet and you want to enter, uh, followers get two tickets, subscribers get 20. It's just my way of saying thank you to those who continually sub and support me and continue my growth on the channel. So I appreciate that. If you don't want to sub, if you're not looking into reoccurring anything, I do have a donate button now. So if you'd like to donate to the stream, all the money that gets put into the stream, including the subs, uh, gets put right back in. So as soon as you guys, you know, as soon as I get paid by Twitch, which is not a lot, I promise you, all of that goes back into the setup, which is why I've continued to be able to have really nice upgrades with cameras and everything else, etc. cetera. So um, just want to make sure that that was out there, but thank you guys, thank you. Um, I would who says, so I for Curio, uh, the coffee is here. Welcome coffee. I'm going to see him at the Nashville meetup, which is really exciting. Uh, reminder that Nashville meetup is, what are we, uh, today is the second. So we are 24 days away from the meetup, uh, Saturday, the 26th. I hope to see a couple people there for sure. So really looking forward to that. Um, we've got a few other chats here. Tears says, what are the configurations available? By the way, we will get into that. I promise you, we will get into that. Uh, we've got a loaded stream for tonight. I'm not going to rush this build. Normally, 
when I have the switches prepared and there's not a whole lot to do, like I unintentionally just like haul ass through the uh, through the build. So we're gonna we're gonna take our time tonight. We're gonna enjoy this. Um, I hope everybody's got a drink and they're chilling. So really, really uh, looking forward to having a good time. But Will, you, you're here. You let me do my intro. I appreciate that. What's been going on, man? Oh, you know, uh, just trying to keep up with the huge backlog of projects that I've been teasing everybody. That's one of the main things that uh, I struggle with is my pace, you know, um, keeping up with the things that I've teased in the channel. Uh, we've got the Curio. It's, it's maybe my first premium that I designed. I know I brought the Phoenix to light, but uh, the Curio is the first one that I personally designed. So I'm really stoked about getting that going, honestly. Nice, nice. Yeah, so we've got... I'm, I'm going to rattle off the ones I know. We've got Vault 35, which round two is going to be back in stock soon, as far as I understand. We've got, uh, you're working on the Vault 45, I believe. Uh, yes. You've got Curio here. Uh, Hydra, which I believe is available on P3D Store right now. Yes? Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, what else am I missing? So we've got uh, Oracle. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oracle yeah. will be a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I told right. you, not not normally my style, but something about that one is uh, is super exciting. Right. So, yeah. So, awesome. Yeah, that's the plan. A couple of vaults. Uh, there's, the vault line is going to be kind of medium tier in stock boards, and then the premium line, you know, Curio, Hydra, Oracle, and a couple others that I'm trying to keep under my hat so nobody, you know, since the DMs, hey, when's this coming out? <laughs> Well, I, I can't say you've done a good job of building the hype. Uh, we've got a lot of people who are interested in a lot of your projects. They are good projects so far, um, and you're kind of you're kind of OG. You've been around for a while, like we talked about in my interview last year. Um, yeah. You know, the the reason you kind of got into 45s and then 40s, and now you're into like 35s is your progression and, and desire to be more efficient, which is really exciting. And um, again, I'm kicking myself because I haven't done anything really sub sub 40 yet and i really should so um i'm probably gonna buy a vault 35 when round two comes out and uh and get one just so i can mess around with it for sure but um man thank you so much for being here i do appreciate that um we did i did want to shout out uh kokaloo he he subscribed with prime thank you so much i did see that you followed today thank you uh, i genuinely appreciate that for sure uh ak 20 2720 says oracle hype <laughs> which is cool meat smoothies made it here wow uh, okay they have not uh been in my stream chat before which is surprising um for those of you who don't know meat smoothies designed the weight for the, the the artwork on the weight for oceanographer so that amazing artwork you all have uh to thank them all right so awesome uh tears for beer says it's a long road to the pain 27 i do have an alpha 28 so i i mean i have used them in the past it's just not as a daily right. and i do find alpha to be a little wonky uh all things considered because of the way the space bar is what you what you got there will i see you reach back for something oh i just i got the oracle here the guys are talking about it yeah so i'm i'm excited for that i don't know why i just as i said uh i fuck with that i don't know why um right. but i'm really looking forward to that and again we've got a we've got a lot of projects or you've got a lot of projects coming and uh obviously i hope to be a part of those and, and help uh help build and promote uh, because all your stuff yeah. has been good so far so if curio lets me down well then we'll just end it here and never go never go forward again right. but i'm not too yeah. worried about that i'm really not um so i will ask the question who wants to see the curio that's the big question right everybody's here for a reason we're giving away stuff who wants to see the curio how about we start with the top case because i think the top part is is very interesting <laughs> dar says um i do <laughs> yes please <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll show the butt in a minute, Darth. Let me let me get to this top first because I think this top is super important. Um, if I recall, and, and Will, I think you and I talked about this last night, uh, Chris used his new diamond crystal tip whatever drill bit, uh, CNC bit, and I must say it makes a world of difference on this acrylic. Um, I know you were showing me before the stream that you have your, your uh, polished one, but even yeah. unpolished, um, I can basically see right through this. Like this is insane, and right. and only the side is a little bit. I guess it's just from like the tooling or whatever. It's a little like hazy, um, but this is insanely clean. the The lines are like perfect. I if the if acrylic comes like this all the time, I'm getting acrylic. 
like for sure this is good uh but tell me a little bit about like what went into the design and the reason for the exploded space bar and, and kind of where your where your where your thought process was so originally um i'm a big jd45 user i've got the original jd45 a couple of them i used them for three four not three or not four but three years and uh exclusively i, I thought that was my in game keyboard and uh it was just a tray train mount with 12 mount points kind of insane but so when i figured out that i was able to design and um get into that realm i wanted to make a jd45 but i sat down and i thought what would i like to be better about the jd45 so the first thing was okay i don't particularly like that i don't have arrow keys and i've got one jd45 replica here this is actually a vault 45 but. okay so no arrow keys, which I could live without them, but I, I'd like to have them, um, which you can't really do in a 13 unit wide keyboard. That's why you see the Jet Van 12.75U has that perfect arrow keys on the right. It's yep. an excellent layout. I wanted to keep my um, backspace handle. So I decided, what if we just abandon the rectangle and let's just move that in 0.25 units so we can have conventional arrows in a 13U cluster. And you're like, that looks a little strange. So what if we mimic it on the other side for symmetry? And that's how I got the three modifiers on the left. Next up, we decided to um, drop the space bar because I kind of closed my eyes. I was like, all right, what can be better about this? Um, and I noticed that only the tips of my thumbs were hitting my space bars. Like I got relatively large hands, so it's like, what if those got dropped down a little bit to more comfortably fit where my thumbs might be? Right. And like, how would I go about doing that? So I dropped it down. It looked a little strange with it butted up next to the other modifiers. So the next logical thought there was to put that same 0.25U blocker on the left and the right side, which gave it a separated or exploded aesthetic. Okay. Awesome. And uh, yeah. yeah, I just pointing that out. There's the little, the little blocker on the edges here, and then of course, obviously, you've got yours around the, the space bar. So, um, yeah. as I said, I've been typing on one. The comfort level from a from just like that adjustment is fantastic. And um, from my understanding, Hydra is basically this, but then you split the alphas, right? Right. And Hydra was designed first. Okay. Um, thought that Hydra would be too wacky for anyone to want to buy into. So I actually dialed it back. Like, what if we just keep the original elements, get rid of the split that forces people to type normally because some people type their B with their right hand. And I was like, all right, let's just dial it back a little bit. So if the if I would have interest checked the Hydra, the Curio would not exist and the Hydra would be named Curio. Okay, interesting. 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 So a little bit of an evolution and understanding yeah what people may or may not use. And, and I think that's fascinating that you basically said that, you know, you were concerned that the Hydra was too extreme, um, right. which is, which is cool. Cause like, <clears throat> I don't know that I would have thought about that. Excuse I've me. I've got one here for anyone that hasn't seen the Hydra. It's the Curio with a one unit split right down the middle. Which is going to be awesome. If, if, if it's anything like what I've been typing on the last two days, it's going to be awesome. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, to catch up real fast just because the chat has been moving we've got a lot of people here tonight again thank you everybody for coming out i appreciate it um got a bunch of people with raffles for the first time chat uh welcome to my welcome to my channel i'm primarily 40s focused uh so you you should be able to tune in relatively often for 40s content um i i hope you enjoy it i'm i try to be as real as possible so um thank you thank you guys for coming out i appreciate that uh, Steve LaRue said, I was a, a Phoenix on deck. What a simp. That's what he said. I was a simp. So <laughs> thank you. I don't know why my, uh, <clears throat> why my throat is bothering me, but we're good. All right. Uh, <laughs> where I said, Oh, stinky Steve LaRue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> big Dan is here. Welcome, Dan. Welcome. Dan's local to me. So Marari, Dan, uh, a couple others are local here. In fact, um, Marari and Dan and I got to go out to dinner last week. We went to Fuh. 
and then we uh, went to a boba tea place and hung out. Had a really good time. Marari was the only one who brought a keyboard. He brought his for me, uh, his acrylic for me, but it was pretty awesome. It sounded amazing. Yeah. Um, we had a good time though. I, I would definitely do that again, and we might make that kind of like a monthly thing until he eventually leaves to uh, Colorado, I believe. So screw him, he's leaving us, but we'll at least hang out with him while we can for sure. So, um, Rory says, "Do crazy first, and then dial it back for the normies." Yeah, that's basically what it sounds like. So, yeah. <laughs> um, right above that, lazy chronic stuff, Hedgy. Hey, lazy, how are you? Welcome, welcome back. We've got a lot of people in here. This is very exciting. So. Uh, the thing that I did show off, and we, we showed off a bunch yesterday, was the bottom. Um, and I have that over here. So, I'll start with the non-crazy side. Um, this is a Jake coat. Do you remember what he called this? I don't. <laughs> okay. I want to say it's like FX Mystique with white splatter or something like that. Yeah, there we go. Mystique. Um, he's calling it like cosmic purple um and yeah. i must say the camera really does not catch how well this is done um it is like blue to purple shift it's insane in person um and i i didn't think it would be as good as as until i got it basically which is awesome so um i really like this as a bottom piece and as a weight kind of all in one it looks really good um and then i figured well i should infill it because the logo is perfect for infill and as i showed you in the in our chat yesterday or two days ago excuse me i tried to do like a a gold glitter kind of look and i was really struggling with the paint and like having it come up cleanly off of the top of the case or the weight i mean and then not infill correctly and i was really str struggling so i said let me try another color one that doesn't have glitter one that's like true acrylic base paint and I came out with this so uh super happy with how the infill came out i think the light blue goes really well with this i don't think it i don't think it's too different i think it kind of fits on theme plus i said the gold looks a little too like egyptian for me <laughs> which you know just that purple and gold is very like royal very yeah. desert royal kind of especially with the glitter um, because it was cool it was black to gold shift but it just didn't work for whatever reason so um this is winded up but this weight is really light uh it's obviously this is aluminum um tell me about the design on here i see the channels I, i'm assuming these are for the switch clearance but talk to me a little bit about like how you kind of came up with this because the way it fits in the case <laughs> is pretty cool too yeah so curio is the reason it's named that is it, it kind of reminded me of a like a contraption or a widget some sort of small doodad if you will um something you might see on like a golden compass movie or something um that's why I've got all these gears in the theme. Mm -hmm. You see a couple above the eye there. Um, I wanted the sides, the mount points to mimic the teeth uh, of cogs, gears. And uh, on the front there, uh, in between the switch channels there, I put a drive chain, the two other gears. And you see the, the actual channels there were not on the first revision. Okay. It was plain. So during initial testing, um, during some forceful typing, I was actually shorting out switch pins, which ah. was not good. Um, so I decided to not only, I could have just, you know, drew a rectangle and pushed it all down, but I decided to, you know, try to pay as much attention to the top of this thing as I did the bottom of it to make it kind of whole, cohesive art piece, if you will. Yep. Um, but yeah. And, and I noticed you've got kind of this like curve uh, to flat on the bottom, uh, just kind of to separate it, or was that like an intentional design choice? Where did that come from? Which piece are you talking uh, about? Right on the bottom of the weight where it like, it kind of curves outward, like it extends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's to, um, to make room for the drop space bar. Ah, okay. If you put that in the assembly, you'll see that the drop space bar comes down and this kind of accentuates that as it comes around the, the bottom of the case. Okay. So the cool. PCB follows that same contour, and the rest you'll see is the milled acrylic. Okay. Well, this is cool. I, I do. I love the thought process. Put in the entire thing, right? Like when I did Ocean, it was very straightforward. It was case, plate, top mount. Keep it simple. Keep it a rectangle. We kind of knew we had some ideas of what we wanted to do. 
Um, but the whole thought process about how you drop the space bar down, you know, from, I'll, I'll say north to south, right? Because then it's saying right. down, like, doesn't make sense from north to south. And having to adjust in the weight is insane. But um, this is so cool. And like I said, I, you said, like, in Gears of a Teeth, um, it fits into the case, like right. so. And it meshes up like that, which is awesome. So this is going to look great. And then obviously with the acrylic top, even with the PCB, we're going to be able to see a little bit of it on, uh, through the through the case, which is really cool. So I'm I'm super in love with this design. Um, I like the idea of it. And I will say, since this is aluminum and this is acrylic, I can already tell this is going to be a little bit more of a lightweight board. Um, and that's okay with me. I, I was thinking about this the other day. I have a lot of heavy boards. And I do like travel with them. And uh, like when I go into the office, like lately I've been bringing the pearl because I love my white pearl so much that I've been bringing it. But that's two and a half pounds. And I'm nervous as hell, like dropping my backpack potentially or something like that. And like, yeah, yeah. this is acrylic and it can be fragile. But at the same time, like having a lighter board to be able to kind of throw in there that's a little bit nicer. No offense to like my tray mount minivan. Um, you know, that's, that's something that I... I truly love and enjoy the idea of like, hey, I have another, another travel board. Um, right. I'm getting pinged by Zoom. Uh oh, I may have to upgrade my Zoom. I, I knew that might happen, uh, and uh -oh. I was planning for that. So we're not screwed yet, um, <laughs> but we're gonna make this work. So everybody's gonna hang tight for one second. <laughs> hedgy, hedgy is cheap. <laughs> um, give me one sec, guys. Sorry about that. And we've got a lot of new people. Um, Static gifted a sub, a tier one sub to all uh, to Alex Alls Hex. Um, welcome, Alex. Glad you're here. Um, we've oh Mace of Spades uh, talked about the color of the weight: graphite black, FX, FX Mystique, and Stormtrooper white splatter. So thank you, Mace. I appreciate that. Um, who did the infill and what did they use? It's awesome. I did the infill, uh, Kuglu, and uh, I used acrylic paint. Water-based acrylic paint works really, really well. So yeah. Uh, Mutant subscribed at tier one. He's subscribed for eight months. He's currently on a three month streak. He says that Cerakote on the weight looks hot. Thank you, Mutant. Uh, Mutant is from Peru, so he's my Peruvian friend uh, who is always here. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, Sofa King is here. I haven't seen him in forever. Um, he he uh, he's subscribed at tier one. He's uh, subscribed for twelve months, so he's been a year already, which is awesome. Thank you, Sofa. I appreciate it as always. Forte gifted tier one sub. Um, and it looks like it went to AK 2720. So that's awesome. Thank you, Forte. I appreciate it. All you guys are spreading the love. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, let's see if I can upgrade because I need to, I need to fix this. Um, everybody hang tight one second. Sorry. How do I upgrade? Cause I'll do this right now. <laughs> Um, yeah. Let's sign in. So, Will, what's the what's the timeline on the uh, Vault Thirty Five Round Two? Vault Thirty Five Round Two. I'm thinking it's going to be this month for sure. Maybe later in the month. We've got PCBs heading my way. Hopefully, those all work out well. And there's no issues to correct. And cases are being. Um, machined with the same diamond bit you see there for the curio we're going to get the, the glass on the vault 35s nice uh sorry everybody just hang tight here we are struggle busting on this uh Uh, new password. These, these are always fun, right? Trying to reset a password is always a pain in the ass, isn't it? And it's not letting me. Um, we're going to switch keyboards, so hang tight, everybody. Uh, this was unintentional. Apologies about this. I uh, don't mean to kill the vibe, but got to get this handled real fast. Um, in fact, I'm going to I'm gonna put you on the spot. I know we were going to yeah. show this afterwards. Uh, it's right here. 
I'm gonna put it on screen. Sorry, it's, <laughs> I, I need it. This was not planned. Um, I'm gonna let you talk about this though because this sure. isn't guaranteed for the uh, group buy at all. So right. I just want to make sure that that first and foremost. Um, so Kane did let me use his aluminum, uh, <laughs> his aluminum curio prototype. He did send this to me, and yep. I must say it's awesome. Um, but we're not sure that this is going to be in the group by right. And, and I'll let you kind of yeah. talk about that a little bit. Sure. Um, so it's different aesthetically. You can kind of tell, um, you don't have the gears showing through, through the side. I'm not hundred percent sure how I feel about that yet. Um, I think it is a nice aesthetic still. So I'm wanting to offer it. It's just as easy to offer as the, the milled acrylic. Um, the issue that I'm currently having is we need to figure out uh, a little bit of a case ping issue only with the the aluminum version. We haven't had any such issues with the acrylic version. So I'm going to get that back in hand. I'm going to do a lot of thorough troubleshooting with that, see if it needs to be a design change. I don't want anyone to have to stuff a bunch of foam or a bunch of tape in their board in order to have it sound good. So if it doesn't sound good, design wise then that one will not make it into the group five i'm pretty happy with where the acrylic version is uh sound wise looks wise we are doing a lot of prototyping right now with um uh, myself and five other individuals so everything's kind of subject to change but this this aluminum one i love it i hope that i can make it work and i'm going to give it everything i got but we'll see how it works out okay awesome well, I will say um, this has been a pleasure to type on uh, <laughs> all, all the last two days. Uh, I've shared some of my concerns, and one of those was paying, and I agree with you. I think the idea that um, that you're not going to uh, want to have foam put in there or have a modification of that regard is, is something that's really important and that a lot of people, I think, don't kind of – I don't think the thought process is through there sometimes. So, um, I appreciate it. I will say it's been super comfortable. Um, and the pink isn't super noticeable, but it's something that obviously those of us that have been around a long time, we don't want to, uh, have to deal with that, that as a kind of afterthought. Um, I had to stuff foam in my P4 because there was case ping in there. Uh, believe it or not in a palm top case with the brass bottom, there was still ping, but as soon as I put foam in there, it kind of got rid of that. But Again, I agree with you. If you can't find a way to to get out of that, then, you know, is it worth running? Then probably not. So just wanted to be full disclosure with everybody that, hey, um, this this is potentially an option, but nothing's guaranteed yet for sure. So, all right. Uh, wow. Okay. They are making me do everything here tonight. This is a... This is, this is very unprofessional of me. <laughs> Should have had this already handled, right? Yeah. Um, Coming, Georgia. That was so funny when you found out what city I lived in. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that don't know, um, <laughs> I live in the the city of Cumming, Cumming, Georgia. C U M M I N G. Uh, so, yeah, try not to laugh too much. Tear says pro streamer. Yeah, basically. All right, I'm gonna place my whole order for one month of Zoom that I'm probably not gonna use again. I've got to, I've got to find a way to have Discord be a better option, uh, but I feel like Zoom's quality is better, the audio is better. Um, it it's just it's yeah, that's the way to go. I think. Uh, agree and continue, and I think we're we're good to go. Cool. All right, we should be okay. We should be good now. Sorry about that. Uh, didn't mean to put you on the spot having to bring the aluminum boy out, but I will show the bottom off because it's really pretty, and I think Jake killed it on this one. No! I lost him. I know you guys can hear me. Oh, it still kicked us out. That sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Jake. I lost him. <laughs> oh, boy. It's been a night, huh, boys? Hang with me here. This is this was unplanned. I am so sorry. Oh my goodness. Ah, I did show all my info. I'm sure I did. My bad. Right as the video cut out, didn't it? Oh, well, I guess we'll just have to call it a night, shall we? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 
Um, let's try again. All right, I'm back on video. All right, hang tight. We're gonna we're gonna get Kane back. My bad, guys. Oh, fun stuff. Just end the stream and give me the group by spy. I don't think it works that way. I wish it did. All right. Copy invite. Let's try again. Sorry about that, boys and girls. My bad. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a hedgy stream if I didn't have an issue, right? All right. I'm back. We'll get him in here in a second. Sorry. We're, we're good. This is... Uh, this is the perils of streaming. I hope I didn't dox myself too bad. Um, you guys can hopefully piss off uh, and don't steal my stuff. Um, but wow, very professional. Um, but anyway, there he is. He's coming back. He's connecting. Are we there? I think so. Okay. All right. I'm getting a little bit of feedback, but we're good. Um, let me make sure I'm muted. There we go. Can you hear me okay? No, we can't. We good now? I can hear you. All right. All right. Sorry, guys. Okay. Well, again, it wouldn't be a hedgy stream if we didn't have those issues. I probably doxed myself. My bad. It is what it is. I'll try and edit that before it goes up on YouTube. So anyway, um, let's get back to where we were. Uh, we had to shift in plans real fast, but that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, we've got the PCB here. Trip says, got to bounce. Hope the rest of the stream is great. Have a nice night, everyone. Thank you, Ashton. I appreciate it. We'll catch you around for sure. Thank you. Um, this is a very pretty PCB. I love the simplicity. Black and gold, as always, right? Um, we do have a little wire up here, but I was going to let you kind of explain what happened and why the wire is here. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's a bad thing, but I was hoping you'd just talk about that real fast. Sure. Yeah. Uh, rookie mistake, for sure. Um, I added the 2U stabilizer points in there so i had to rotate a um rotary encoder footprint and when i did that i didn't check to make sure that the rotary encoder footprint had all the clearance so it cut a trace right in half and uh i just sent it sent it to jlc like that so <laughs> they build it just how you want them to build it so as a bodge wire obviously that's been corrected uh pcb is going to be beautiful when we go to production and that's that's all that matters yep i agree this is this is a good looking pcb so um i'm excited about that and then uh the plate material you gave me is uh palm the plate material is polycarb polycarb that's right yep. there we go uh so good flex um and and i noticed that in typing in this one the the flex is really good it's not overbearing um and something that is super enjoyable so uh, Swishy says, wait, 2U support on a popular board? We may get an R2 2U trend uh, yet. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm not a fan of it personally, and I'm not going to build with the encoder. I'm going to build split backspace like I do from all my 13Us. Uh, but I know that some people do like that. So, Swishy, you may not be uh, you may not be that far off. I don't know. It so just be coming back. It was in the JD45 and the Pearl. So yeah, this is true. This start. is very true. I wonder if Coop's going to get around to getting that pearl out in a relatively reasonable manner of time. Uh, but I feel like that's just going to be one where I'm going to forget about it. And then, like, it'll just show up randomly, like, a year from now or something like that. That's at least the feeling I get. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start the build. We've had enough struggles for 40 minutes of uh, Zoom and catching up and everybody's here. So, we're going to start building. <laughs> I still can't believe we had that Zoom issue. I feel like an idiot, but it happens. I recognize that it's yeah. it's part of part of how it goes sometimes. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. I'll set I'll set this to the side for the moment. Let's go ahead and start lubing these stabs, uh, or stab I should say singular. Um, where is this? Oh, here it is. Mace was nice enough to when we thought I was gonna get the board for last Thursday. Uh, was nice enough to basically overnight a 6u stab because i didn't have a 6u wire uh so shout out to mace thank you very much i appreciate it <laughs> um but yeah i'm excited i i guess uh i think of your other proto participants only one did big bar as well right yeah i think uh forte yeah did big bar. i think forte did big bar. doing the correct 1.75 u bars 
I, I can't I could do 1.75 I just I like a big bar that's just how I roll I think <laughs> and uh, I do like the 1.75 on here though I will say like it's it's comfortable although I still find myself kind of hitting more towards the center in between but that's me yeah I know it's other all people about are different right placement and everyone's got a different you know it's people are pretty divisive when it comes to that this is also my first time using I think these are c3 stabs so it's my first time using these so like in the past I don't know the past like three weeks I've used uh, cherry clip in cherry screw in um, Duroc and TX stabs and now I'll use uh, c3 stabs and then I think for the embrace build which is coming up I'm gonna do um, stabies so I'm like all over the place so I get to kind of try a range and see what I like. I did like the TX stabs uh, last week. Those were enjoyable. I really did. Uh, and the cool little teeth to help them clip in was, was really neat. So um, nice. yeah, we'll, we'll see how this continues, this trend, but uh, I get kind of a, a way to try and figure out what I like the best, which is a lot of fun. And I'm gonna go ahead and lube them like I always do. We're gonna whoop, zoom in here. I still can't believe I struggled. I can't believe the zoom thing kicked us out after 40 minutes. That's insane. I did that though. I used uh, I used my work zoom for a um, personal call a couple weeks ago. And I forgot that my work records every zoom meeting. So I had to like, I was like three minutes in, I had to click to stop recording. Uh, but it is definitely saved up on our um, website we use, which is called Gong. Gong records all of our calls, so. That was kind of funny. I was like, oops. So all your coworkers know you're a streamer though, right? Sorry? All your coworkers know you're a streamer at least? Yeah, actually they do, which is kind of weird. Um, and, and I've talked about that a little bit. So um, when I was when I was in Canada, I took we um, had a sales meeting in Toronto. And um, when I was there, someone talked about, oh yeah, Toby's like really technical and he builds crazy keyboards and apparently he streams and like, people found out and i was like okay whatever and like i thought like it'd be kind of embarrassing and they thought it was really cool they were like actually it's really super cool <laughs> yeah and then i had a chat with uh one of the managers who's not my manager but another team and um <laughs> he was like hey i found your stream the other day i was like wait what i'm like how and he's like oh i just was looking and i found it and i'm like oh and he's like it's so cool he's like i never knew that that was a hobby and like you seem to know a lot but and i was like okay that's cool like he liked it but like yeah. that threw me for a loop i was like oh man like people are actually watching and paying attention so yeah kind of crazy to to realize that there are a lot of people who do look and like i do have co-workers who genuinely pay attention which is kind of crazy <laughs> wow these are really loose i actually don't know if i want to use these i mean i'm gonna try them but oh it's very clear like which direct okay interesting these are very interesting there's a lot of play like the tx stabs i used were tight there was no give in them um when i put the when i put the wire in so this will be interesting i hope these don't need too much lube but we'll see i'm so out of the loop when it comes to what needs to be done to a stabilizer to make it usable i haven't used them in so long i was to say there's there is that benefit right where um you're your bottom row layouts um, don't require a stabilizer, and that's got to be nice to not have to mess with it. Um, you know, although I will say, like switches now, especially like some of the good high-end switches, there's there's like you can get away with a 2.25 or even a 2.5 occasionally without a stab. Like you can get away with it. Um, on my well, I did just put, I did take that out. I put a 4.25U on my minivan, but before that, yeah. I was rocking the standard 2U and 2.25 with no stabs because the switches in there, one was a GAT uh, Silent Ink, and the yeah. other was an Alpaca V2, and they just didn't wobble at all, so yeah. I had no need. This is backspace on the Oracle on the top. I purposely did not put uh, stabilizer cutouts on the PCB, mm -hmm. because it does not wobble. Like two U does not need stabilizers anymore with the modern advances in switch tolerances. Right. They used to wobble like crazy, like but they don't need it anymore with 
depending on what switches you got. These are, I think these are inks, ink V2s. Okay. And you can press on the very edge, it doesn't matter. Nice, nice. Yeah, their switches are in a good, we're in a good spot in the hobby for switches at least. Um, you know, I feel like, I yeah, do I feel like so. there's been a slowdown in boards and whatnot lately, but um, as far as switches, there's so many options, there's so many good switches, you really can't go wrong. It just becomes personal preference at that point. All right, got that wire lubed up. Sorry, I should catch up on chat. I feel bad. We've. I feel like I've been ignoring chat a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, when I was talking about Mace uh, shipping out ASAP, um, Marari said Mace is good people. Mace is a homie. Uh, and then 40s is full of homies. This is true. 40s really is full of homies. So uh, shout out to everybody in 40s. As always, you guys rock and uh, happy to be a part of that community. And I think... Will you you enjoy it too, right? We've we've got a really good group of people. I like to think in our community. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I got the channel in the '40s Discord. That's pretty much where I spend most of my time. But I like to go to other designers' channels, support those guys where where I can. Uh, hang out in pictures a little bit, uh, buy sell trade, obviously. Um, but yeah, '40s. Anytime I got a free second at work or whatever, yep. Pop up Discord check out what's going on in 40s chat a little bit post some pictures it's a good time yeah i'm with you on that one for sure for sure i do want to shout out uh, rad cat attack <laughs> subscribe with prime thank you very much for the subscription i appreciate that um means a lot um luteng said woo toronto yeah we do have a hub office there so we were up there back in uh early may for a sales meeting although they did say they want to come to the atlanta office next um, I don't know when that is, although I'll be in the office tomorrow with a bunch of people. And our office, the Atlanta office, is much nicer than Toronto's. Uh, so if any coworkers end up watching this VOD, just know that I said that, that the Atlanta office is much nicer than the Toronto office. And I have no qualms about that. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, chat, say hi to all of Hedgie's coworkers watching right now. Thank you, Marari. Yes, good point. I appreciate that. Um, I'm sure they, like I said, I'm sure they do end up watching at some point for sure. So, um, Mace said he's been real happy with the C3. So, like I said, we'll see how this goes. It just, I just from like picking it up and like putting the wire in there, it felt loose going into the hole. That's what she said. Um, but it just felt loose. So, that's all. <laughs> um, Stablis builds are best builds. Gnarly. That was gnarly. He says that. Uh, so, yeah. hey, look, like I said, there are people who love Stablis builds, and I'm just not one of them, but doesn't mean you're wrong. So no worries there. I'm not judging too hard. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, Stablis 10U win. No, Marari. Never. <laughs> but Mace did say dual 175U or 1.75Us is pod. Uh, Kane has converted me. So uh, Gnarly oh. says he appreciates Stablis Phoenix. So maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe Stablis is the way to go. So. Um, mm. Oh, what do you do with your other thumb when you're big barring? Uh, so weirdly, it floats. Like, it floats <laughs> above. And and I actually didn't notice that until someone pointed it out to me. I don't remember who it was, but mm. they were like, wow, your thumb's really weird. It just hangs up in the air. So, like, literally, if, like, you're looking, you know, from, the from like, my stomach forward, my thumb literally, like, hovers above my other one. It's super weird. So... <laughs> Luke says, Hedgie's left thumb super erect. Okay. I don't know if we had to go that far, Luke but I appreciate it. Yes, super erect. Sure. <laughs> nice. Oh, these stabs, do they do not stay clipped in, though. Okay, that's weird. All right, we're good. Uh, screwdriver. This whole thumb, getting my thumb cut today was such bad timing. Um, so disappointed about that. I was cutting a bagel of all things this morning and like I cut myself with a, a friggin bread knife I don't know how I did that but I did and I thought to myself like of all days to do this a streaming day is not the day and I took the band-aid off I had I had a band-aid on it earlier and I took it off and I was like oh it looks pretty clean and then it just started bleeding again I'm like son of a bitch <laughs> so band-aid it is so it may it may hinder some progress tonight, just a little bit. All right, stabs are in. They look good, they are quiet. I don't hear any rattle, so that's pretty solid. 
Um, all right, looks like we're caught up on chat. Um, Finality says, we just need a stepped tenu with single one U mount in the center, like the stepped caps in DC DCS input. So I guess that's for you. T tell me about input, by the way, because um, how's that going? What's the timeline on that? I did not get into it. I kind of am kicking myself about that, but tell me about it. Yeah. Uh, so concept wise, I wanted to take the nice, I mean, it's perfect. You have shale on the screen now. Nice, dark um, caps with the tan legends. Uh -huh. So I took that colorway and I kind of got rid of the the uh, gray alphas, which they look like they're cream alphas, right, on the camera, but in person they're, they're gray. Uh, so those are gone. We took the two other colors and we pretty much put them all over the entire set. And um, I wanted to have the aesthetic of old school, like terminal, where you see commands that are usually two words. And that's where I started putting down like nonsensical um terms and stuff and i actually was in the channel asking for input from the the people there like what are some things that you guys want to see we ended up with stuff like um check status layer lock things that are ambiguous enough to where you can put them anywhere you want on the board which is perfect because it's all row three and all row three it's i think it's kind of controversial but um, the original JD45 caps, and I think we got Will Jones in the chat, he'll remember these. They're all uniform. They're all angled and they're all uniform. And I've been typing on these for years. It's great. Uh, the people that were able to cobble together enough row three DCS to try it, good things we hear. Okay. Um, so hopefully it's going to be a good, good deal. As far as timeline, you were asking, um, emailed signature plastics unfortunately they're about a month and a half behind right now so i'm just waiting on them to tell us when they're starting should be relatively soon sure i think that that, that they had to to remake here not too long ago i don't remember which one it was but they had to completely redo a set put them way behind on dcs okay okay well i'm i'm obviously very interested to see how that comes out i will say i had not seen shale in person shale's amazing um from a color perspective obviously i like dss in general but um seeing it in person it's fantastic and again like kicking myself for not getting that set so maybe those of you in 40s uh be on the lookout i may post a uh, willing to buy here soon uh just fyi so um i did put the bump ons on i know you talked about this in our private chat um yeah. that you may switch from black to clear right like that's just something you've kind of noted from the protos and that just because yeah. you can see the black kind of through the through the bottom right right and some people doesn't bother some people it really bothers i have the same feedback for the vault 35s which you could see the bump on straight through the blocker um so i actually did already order some clear bump ons that are the same size okay i want to see how you know those work out and if that looks better then that's what we go for with the group buy. cool cool awesome i did see in chat i, I must mention this uh glow came in <laughs> it's with exclamation mark raffle and someone said we summoned him <laughs> um, uh, everybody knows it's over right. glow will obviously win this raffle no i obviously i can't say that as the raffle runner but um uh, it is a truly fair raffle so just fyi but uh yeah good luck glow good luck oh hysteronic is here and he says first time chat how do we enter the raffle it is exclamation mark raffle so just fyi histronic that's how you get in so um i talked about this i've showed them on stream i'm building with the prevail uh key company nebulas and the reason for that was because as soon as i found out we were getting the weight in this color i figured the nebulas would be a good match and i'm pretty close the the nebulas are like a more fuchsia color but uh overall they'll go with the build the theme is there i'm really really excited for this so um yeah, we're at the point where we can start loading up the switches in the plate. I don't know. I think how many uh, for a big bar is it like forty-two switches, forty-one, something like that. Good question. Got to figure that out. Um, I usually plan for forty-six or so. Okay. But yeah, you probably forty-one, forty-two. All right. So let's uh, 
Ooh, these, these are semi-loose in this, but that's okay. That means we'll just do the corners early. Um, and then... Uh-oh. I'm going to need the, uh, whatchamacallit, the plate fork, the or the, the switch fork um, from Jake from P3D. I may actually yeah, need that. I did do for the inks that I used, and then I think in the, the prototype chat, I think Didi had asked if anyone else's plate was tight. Okay. So, um, and then Mace has said that his snapped right in perfectly. Okay. Uh, so I think it's just depending on the switches. Those are definitely standard uh, 14 millimeter cutouts. Okay. Yeah. This uh interesting. The let's see. Let's see if I can get the rest of the switches in. What I'm finding is that the pins on the switches, uh, the actual like post pins, not the um, not the metal pins, are really loose in this PCB. So I think it's the switch, um, not not anything you're, you're with your PCB or anything like that. Uh, JLC doesn't have the best reputation for. That's why everybody uses them for prototypes. Nobody really does a glue buy through there unless it's going to be a super small run. And right, uh, but the production run will go through Velcro. Okay. Also, the production run of the PCBs will have integrated LEDs, so we can light up this beautiful nice. nail acrylic case nice. if you want to, or you can leave them off. You know, I want a lot of people don't like RGB, but a lot of people are coming around too. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the switches in here first, and then uh, in the plate, and then if it comes out while soldering, just try and keep it planted, basically. Although I might get lucky if I put more in here as we go. It looks like the plate's starting to hold, which is good. But I will say, from a, like a 13U perspective, and I meant to talk about this earlier when you were talking about the layout design, um, I've converted... Well, I won't say I've converted, but I enjoy having dedicated arrows on the minivan layouts, right? The 12.75. And to have it on a 13U makes me super happy because the transition's really easy. So, like... Just making that small change was such a was like a yes for me for sure. Just the idea of like, oh hey, I can still have my dedicated arrows in the same spot I normally would have them, and the transition is exactly the same from minivan to this. So thank you. That was a that was a very nice choice. Yeah. All right, you go here. Six U is center. Um, and there really is a bunch of switch options for the bottom row. I really, especially for the space bar, I really do like that. I think you, you've got dual 3U. Well, here, you've got 6U, dual 3U, uh, single 3U plus, uh, what, 1.75 on each side? 1.5. 1.5, that's right. 1.5 on each side. You've got, um, yeah, I'm going to have to use a switch fork here. Um, you've got this layout. Yep, see, these fell right out. I knew that was going to happen. Um, which is the 1.75, or 1.25, 175, 175, 125. Is there any other layouts I'm missing? Nope, I think that's going to be it for the, the space bar cluster area. Okay. Is And then there is no different options for, or is there a different option for the left-hand side? So the left-hand side and the right-hand side are both getting um, some additions. They're not in the plate that you have, okay. but I want to be able to do 2X 1.5 on the left or on the right. If somebody doesn't want arrows, they can do two 1.5 mods there. Okay. Awesome. That'll be cool. Or they can do the three U's. Somebody was mentioned in the quad three U layout <laughs> that you can do. If you can find four or three U space bars, yeah. It was just tossing in um, the stabilizer hole for that 3U bar. So it was kind of like a why not? If somebody wants to throw it in there, they can. Well, a lot of a lot of 40s is why not, right? So yeah. um, Lazy Chronic said, what switches are you using? These are Prevail Key Nebulas. Uh, they are lubed. I bought them lubed. The person who did them did a really nice job. They sound really good. I put them in a hot swap board already, so... I'm super excited for how these are going to sound. I think they're going to sound amazing. Really looking forward to that. Histronic, wow, is that Kane? He's more Jesus than I imagined. <laughs> well, 
Well, as as we talked about beforehand, uh, last time this year, this this wow. time last year on stream, you had your hair under a hat, so it was a little I different. I did. I did. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Jesus. Well, hey, you may be keyboard Jesus. I don't know, so we'll find out. <laughs> Poor Jesus. <laughs> Luke Ski says, "Or right. caveman." Yep, I'll take caveman. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Okay. This uh, this plate is bendy. I can see it already bending, um, which is funny. Like it is straight up just bending right at the center. Let's make sure we got all these pins nice and straight because I want to be able to just insert this into the board and then start soldering. So, fan's gonna come on here in a minute so that I don't choke on solder fumes. Unlike Soft, who always chokes on solder fumes. Go ahead and nice that went right in my hair up so maybe the jesus comments and stuff there you go hats going on as and as you reminded me i really do need to get the uh the beanie in the merch store so people can buy yeah. it right all right some <laughs> glow says solder fumes good yeah glow you're 15 you're just rotting your brain away <laughs> Going. Well, Andy said he just got home from work. Yeah. Where's All right. Working? Let me do this quick because I actually oh, lose you over my speakers. So let me knock this out super fast. I'm gonna start soldering here. Try not to solder over the wire where you uh, where you had to jump the switch. All right. Oh yeah, these are good pins too. These uh, these solder nicely. And I will say, as I as I mentioned, your your solder job on your uh, aluminum prototype was beautiful. No no flux left over. It was very nice. Yeah, I had a lot of practice. I do desoldering a lot. I have uh, switches that I um. I mean, you can see them in the background here. This lovely board full of switch options that I've got. I hope you guys can hear him because I can't. So just uh -oh. <laughs> apologies, Will. I can't hear you with the fan. Um, give me just two minutes here. I'm going to hustle through this. I'm sorry. Man, we're having all sorts of streamer problems tonight, aren't we? I'm, I must oh be a professional. <laughs> Hedgy is professional streamer these days. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Disregard your chat for a minute. Let it go back to normal. Had you spent all his money on keyboards and couldn't buy some AirPods? Listen, I could put my headset on, but I prefer having the speakers, honestly. Uh, the headset wears on me after about an hour and a half, so that's the only reason I don't have it on. I could absolutely slap it on right now, but... This is just way easier. I don't have to swap inputs. Plus, I can hear if my wife comes down the stairs or something. So, or my dogs, or my daughter who randomly decides to get up now at three years old and open the bedroom door and be like, I'm not tired. And I'm like, go back to bed. Top row is almost done here. Always makes me nervous soldering around a USB port, but looks like this one's got enough clearance, so I'm not too concerned. Yep, good clearance there. Uh-oh. Clearance, clearance. Is that my second airplane reference in a, a week? That's disappointing. All right, Marari. I see your copy pasta. I'm kind of over it. You're gonna be on the ban list soon. All right, come on, come on. Oops, two. And like I said, I already tested this PCB early, so I know it works. So we should be good there. I 
I just realized there's all the little like design on the PCB. I didn't I don't know how to describe that. It looks kind of like diamonds or squares or we're a checkerboard pattern but at a diagonal. It looks really good. Yeah, patched in Phil. <laughs> Kane, what is you sipping on? Kane, what is you sipping on? Uh Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA. Voodoo Ranger is good stuff. Yeah. And I'm not an IPA guy, but occasionally I feel the need for, for an IPA. Occasionally. Do, do, do. Almost done with the second row. Gonna finish. Come on. I really want to get that uh that wireless solder pin. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but I really want to get one for this desk setup. Yeah. I feel like not having a big ass uh, electrical wire across would be really nice. Can you imagine if I didn't pay for Zoom premium and then every 40 minutes we had to restart the Zoom? That would be embarrassing. gone corporate hedgy hut <laughs> chat is moving tonight still got 65 people in here that's insane thank you guys for the support i appreciate it um as always i'm trying to stream a little more regularly have a little bit more content i appreciate you guys coming out hanging out with me especially in uh what seems like a slowdown, I'll talk about that when, when I turn the fan off. It seems like some streamers have kind of gone by the wayside a little bit. And so, just kind of very curious to see what everybody's thoughts are and the current streaming market, if you will. Because a lot of people that I'm like sub to, or at least follow on Twitch, they're not streaming as much anymore. And I've noticed that. Come on. All right, so I do see this one set of pins is right next to the microcontroller. So I'm gonna have to be uber careful here. Looks like there's like two diodes or resistors or something. So just gonna yeah. sneak in right there. And hopefully inhale only a little bit of fumes. Good. And now we're on the bottom row. Cool. Seven more switches to go. This was a fast solder job. It's kind of nice. I'm not looking forward to uh, when I build the fossil prototype, the full size, 108 switches. That'll Too be many. seven stabs or six stabs or whatever. That'll be a pain in the ass. Why do you want one of those? Come on. Oop. And then the space bar. Oh, I didn't put a space bar switch in. I need to do that still. Because it was falling out. Two. One more switch. 
and we'll be good to go. Should do it. Should is the key word. All right. Now I can hear you again. All in the name of safety, so I'm not sucking in lead and awful fumes. <clears throat> but we should be good. All right. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 6, 8, 32, 4, 6, 8, 40. 6, 8, 6, 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 60, 2, 4, 6, 8, 70, 2, 4, 6, 8, 80, 2, 4, 6, 8, 44 switches. Sounds about right. Yep. Do you have any weird ticks like that? Like I do that every single time I solder, just making sure all the, all the pins are soldered. No, nope, it's just you. Okay. Okay. I'm the weirdo. <laughs> all right, cool. I'll turn off the soldering iron. This looks great, by the way. Um, I love the plate being uh, PC and clear, right? Um, I yeah. love being able to see your logo down here. Um, but this is a super clean PCB. So well done on this, by the way. Thank you. All right. That's my favorite part of PCB design is the traces and the aesthetics of it. I actually need to uh, need to come to you. I'm working. On, excuse me. Oh, I'm working on some projects. So I may need to come to you for some PCB design or some help, so. Yeah, I can fit it in. All right, I should catch up on chat a little bit. I don't mean to be ignoring you guys, sorry. Uh, it's just been a lot tonight for whatever reason. I knew, I always know when like I have a big stream coming up, shit's gonna go wrong. But like if I'm prepared for it, then it's a lot better, right? So, yeah. um, all right, let's screw the, let's get the plate screwed in. Um, Hedgy on Instagram live when, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how far I missed. That's the crazy part. Um, I did see where Nap said, Hedgy, you had a straight switch on your desk, mate. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> I knew that was for the space bar. So we're all good there, Nap. Thank you. <laughs> um, I purposely went with the uh, I purposely went with the black and white mat tonight just to kind of make sure I could see everything. Forte says, access to reset pins from the top without taking apart the board is pretty nice. I will agree. Right. I think uh, most people have it on a layer somewhere if they want access to reset, but yep. if they don't or they forgot it, then it's good to have there, and I do not want to drill a hole in the bottom of the keyboard like they used to do. Yep. I'm with you on that one. We uh, When we did the first proto for the ocean, we put the reset switch in there, but we forgot to make a hole in the plate. So we realized, like, okay, for the group buy, we need to make sure that that's clear. But, yeah, we did the same thing. We just wanted to not have people have to open up, or you literally just have to take off a keycap, and you can reach it, which is great. Yeah. But, as you said, once you once you put your first layout on the board, you should put a reset somewhere on there, and then you should be good to go. So. Right. I always put mine on opposite ends of the board so I don't accidentally do it. So it's layer three, and then on the opposite side of the board is where reset is. So that way, right. like, it's almost impossible to accidentally do it. Are you a Vile user, or do you... I prefer Vile. I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I think a lot of people do. You'll see the some of the hardcore coders saying they don't want to click around in an interface. And I get that, too. Um, Look at that. Okay. But I, I love Vile. I yeah. love being able to push things on the fly. It's just great. Vile is fantastic. This fit, by the way, is pristine, man. Holy crap. That looks good. All right. Um, anyway, I'm going to catch up on chat later later tonight afterwards. Um, yeah, it's just it's going too fast tonight. It's crazy. And uh, we have so many people here. So this looks incredible, by the way, uh, with the acrylic on here. I'm I'm so excited for this. My I hope the PBT fan space bar fits. The only thing I've noticed is their space bars are a little like wider than normal. That's okay. like my biggest concern. Um, yeah. But yeah, outside of that, no, we should be good. So let's let's get this weight get the camera to focus we're gonna slap this weight in i'm so stoked for that did i have autofocus turn off hello there we go it's a little blurry yeah that's weird we got we got weird wow that's slip all right i will notice um on your aluminum prototype getting the weight out that was a tight fit uh this just slipped right in that's what she said 
Um, but yeah, like <laughs> just yeah. food for thought. That's something I noticed, but I, I'm pretty sure right. you're aware of that. And it probably has to do with the coding and all that other stuff. Sure. Luke C says, please slap the weight. <laughs> please slap it. I, I'm not sure I understand. As, it, as it's sexy and it's been bad, I need to slap, slap it. Slap it and say, you can fit so many switches in this bad oh, boy. Oh, you can fit so many switches in this bad boy. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> Y'all are something. I feel so old sometimes when people talk about memes or whatever, and I'm like, I'm so out of the loop. <laughs> Uh, same, honestly. Yeah. Marari says that's a clip. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Marari. Oh, you sent me an extra screw. Thank you. I appreciate that. Just in case I lost one. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to start doing that just in general. Somebody might lose one down a vent or whatever. They don't want to. Because these are all MC Master, like, high dollar. I guess as high dollar as hardware can get. Yep. And, you know, um, so I might as well send a few extra. Thank you. Yeah, we did that for Ocean. We used some very nice high-end hardware. Um, yeah. but that if was you're like... going to make a 250 $350 keyboard, why not? You know, why skimp out on the hardware? Yep, that was one of my biggest, uh, one of my biggest, like, hey, I got to do this to a right type of thing for people. Yeah. Um, because I, I hated, like, on some of the cheaper shit, when your hardware breaks, it's the worst the worst all right put those away so yeah uh this is it put together and then like so this is this is such a sweet design man and this acrylic looks insane i can't i cannot wait to show this off at the office tomorrow which i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna packing slip this uh tonight and then i'll drop it at the office because they have usps pickup so they'll pick that up tomorrow i'll bring it both with me but um perfect yeah man this this looks incredible and uh as much as i like this this looks this looks great too so right. oh and this is gonna sound good i can already i can already tell this is gonna sound incredible so um yeah <laughs> as i said uh i'm gonna i'm going with the purple theme you guys know me i'm a theme guy i like sticking with it so we've got uh kbd fans or kbd uh fans pbt fans purple which is purple dolch uh, they sent the fix kit. If you weren't here last week, they discontinued the 40s kit because I noticed it was wrong and fixed it and resent it within two weeks. Literally, from the time I mentioned the issue to the time it hit my door was less than two weeks, and I had yeah. new keycaps made. So I do have the proper 40s kit for it, which is super exciting because I did want to use that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pull those out, which is really cool. And KBD fans did tell me they are going to... Uh, sell these cases, the keyboard uh, keycap cases, and they're going to sell them in three layers high. So that makes me super excited for storage. Uh, these are fantastic. Can't recommend these enough. Just FYI. So, yeah. Yeah, that'll be excellent. Yep. Uh, I've got plenty of mason jars for mine. Right here. I was gonna say I've got them in sandwich bags right now um, in my drawer. So I got over the sandwich bags really quickly. Went to the artsy mason jar situation nice. but those i would definitely buy some of those cases for caps for sure for sure schnabel says uh schnabel is the subscription with prime thank you so much schnabel i appreciate that uh want to make sure i shout you out for that um coffee says i have a full purple oxymoron on the desk today theme build hit different yes it does um histronic said which switches uh these are the prevail uh, key nebula switches uh, so Lanier's they're pretty sick um, infill growing pancakes is infill growing on me big yeah uh, really happy with how the infill came out it just turned out super super nice so um, big dances KBD fans is stellar always a pleasant experience and great in stock options yeah their customer service honestly is is absolutely insane oh this is gonna sound so good um, and uh, and like the way they in which they responded how quickly they responded uh made me super super happy so yeah i have no complaints with kbd fans honestly and again these trays are sick if you give if you've not had a chance to use one of these trays uh the top tray has individual spacing which is so cool um 
And yes, I know it's plastic and it's not good for the environment, but like it's it's awesome. You're already buying plastic keycaps anyway. <laughs> Kukaloo says burpulch. <laughs> um half halfling barista says I like the switch containers, kinetic lab cells. I know they're available elsewhere too, but they're good people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like we've got options now in the hobby which just weren't here two years ago, three years ago, so uh, where we've come is a long way away. By the way, this flex, yeah, this is good. I don't yeah. think I don't think people understand how good this board's gonna be. It does not feel like a top mount board. No. I'll say that. No, it does not, and I would agree with you fully. Alright. Um I think arrows are on the second layer. Um should I go purple arrows or purple enter? And no, I don't want to do purple on both. Um, yeah, one or the other. I'll let you guys decide. Should I do Should I do purple arrows, or just the highlighted enter and tab? What do you guys think? I'm I'm curious what the what chat thinks. Marari says both, of course. Enter, of course. purple arrows, purple arrows, arrows, arrows. Yeah, and I'll no. just do the regular black enter. So I think you guys are right. So we'll go purple arrows. It seems to be the winner. Pancakes is enter and tab accents only. I would normally do that. We'll see how this comes out. I can always change it, right? Like, that's always the, the thing. I feel like I've got, like, four shades of purple on here, by the way. Huh. Also, love the... Uh, the three U options from uh, PVP fans, so they do they do have those oh, yeah. there. Just FYI, um, and then I need delete, and here's delete. Put delete. Up Might there. have to pick up a set. Yeah, and and they're cheap. Well, I won't say they're cheap. They're affordable. Right. Because they're definitely cheap. This is definitely affordable and good quality for what they are. Hedge accent numpad enter on the arrow vertical? I'm not sure I understand. What do you mean, Pancake? Sorry. I don't think I understand. Just put arrows on layer one. Yeah, that's what I do. Or, oh, you're saying on a second layer? No, I like them. I like them on the main layer, me personally. Oh, I forgot a couple of keycaps from that tray. I'll have to pull that back out. That's all right. This tray, though, I sucks. You said arrows. I, I see both sides of the arguments. I have I have two sets of arrows. I have an arrow set on layer one, which I use for text navigation. Mm -hmm. um, but I also like the uh, base layer arrows. Mainly, I use them for moving around in YouTube videos. Okay. Like if I'm not fully engaged to the keyboard, if I'm just laying back, I can just tap on left, right, go back, forward, ten seconds. I don't want to have to thumb and move. I don't know. It's, I sure. guess it's called press. There. Oh, oh wait, is that a? That's a 1.25. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Um, I forgot that that was. All right. So we need the one U backspace. Uh, where'd you go? I know you're somewhere here. Here you are. One U backspace, and then I need a 1.75 enter, and then I need a 1.25. Really, I need like a shift, um, since I'm not gonna have another option so we're going to open up the other case again pull that back out because i forgot also the navigation keys which is kind of funny uh and these are all one you right bud for the bottom left yeah yeah, yeah. all one you for now optional three u or two x 1.5 u for the production version okay uh, one point. Uh, alt i need a one u control i will say these legends um if you are thinking about this set are somewhat hard to see so like just fyi like the the contrast is is really i don't want to say rough it's just hard to see so just if you're thinking about this set be prepared uh, it looks better under softer light. Like, harsh light like this does this set no favors. So, just keep that in mind. There's only one of these controls? Interesting. 
Only one extra one you control. That doesn't seem right, but okay, sure. Uh, and then I need a 1.75 shift and a 1.25. Here's 1.25. And one more keycap to complete right here. Boom. Oh, and then the space bar. Duh. Oh, I thought about a purple space bar there for a second. I really did. Um, 6U no. is here. Yeah, they did give me a 6U. Okay. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Yep, this was a concern for me. Um, this space bar is very wide. Yep. Oh, no. That was a concern. Um, okay. May have to pivot here for a second. Come on. Let me make sure it's not. I have to go GMK set. I may actually have to swap up the uh, key set here. So this is, I noticed it on the Pearl too. These, uh, these are just a hair wide. Um, and, and that's kind of what creates the issue. Um, I am prepared to pivot with a different key set, so. Uh, yep, it's rubbing. Wow. Oh, that sucks. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it's, uh, it's also why you prototype, right? Yep. Yeah. So, okay. Well, like I said, I'm prepared to pivot, so it's not the end of the world. We're okay. Um, not that the other set that I was going to use is going to look bad on it either. Um, but let's just triple check. Um, we could do... Well, no, because those are too wide, too. Um, Pulse. Pulse is always an option. Thanks. Let me see yeah. if the space bar fits. That'll tell me a lot. There should be a 6U space bar in here. I may not have a 6U in this, which also might be an issue. So. I think Forte used uh, Redacted for his 6U bar. So GMK should be good. I actually don't know that I have the 6U in the Pulse, which is crappy. Oh. Uh-oh. We may have to completely pivot. <laughs> it's not the end of the world for me. Like, that's the that's the beauty is, like, there's literally tons of options of key sets. As much as I want to stick with the purple theme, that just may not be an option tonight. Um, pivot. <laughs> That's okay. We're, we're still good. It's all right. Um, God, I would. I don't want to do that. Let's um. Trying to think out loud here. Keep getting Discord notifications of that ridiculous copy pasta that has spawned. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. For key set options, and I want a working space bar because we need this to work. Um. What else has a 6U that I can use right now? I wonder if I have a DSA or like a... That sucks. That's the only downside about PBD fans. These are thick. Um, and I should have known that and thought about it and tested it. And I didn't test it because why would I have to worry, right? Like, at least the same width. Maybe the, the accented is a little bit... Yeah, accented the same width. Okay, just triple checking, like, because, you know, you never know. Um, all right. Let's pivot. Let's do. Well, I hate to say it. I think we're going to bust out paperwork because paperwork, paperwork yep. works with everything. So let's uh, this will be a good test. Oh, those switches are loose. Huh? I don't know if you just saw that or not. That literally came right off. Good Lord. All right, but I do like the outside of here. I like the spacing to uh, reach in and grab um, keycaps. So thank you for that. That was. Uh, it looks like there's plenty of room there for that. Uh, yep, you go here. Also, I'm kind of laughing because I feel like any proto build that doesn't have issues is probably a concern. 
it means you you didn't do something right at least right. it feels that way to me right absolutely <clears throat> that's pretty much my first design year and a half almost two years in the making um i expected i fully expected you guys to just take me to task when you got them in your hands honestly take you to task okay. yeah no no my first design we're not we're not going to take you to task per se um but definitely i'm glad we can provide some constructive feedback and um like i said it, this is to me like even this is not that bad this is just hey these are these are noticeable things like it'd be one thing if i like i got on stream i was like man your board sucks um, <laughs> but no like outside of the yeah. small things here or there like everything i've i've uh dealt with with this board so far is really nice so no no complaints really and it's small feedback right it's just little things yeah. here or there if we can tweak by you know 0.1 millimeters to be able to fit uh kvd fans space bars then that's not a big deal yeah because these are good sets outside of that so yeah totally I'm all about the uh you know excellently priced in stock ready to ship that's ironically um i just pulled this key set off of the board i'm gonna pull paperwork off of in a minute today like i literally just did the swap today yeah. um so that i find that kind of funny that we're just i'm gonna end up swapping right back basically but i think with i think obviously with like acrylic it lends itself to almost any color key set like i could i that's why i was almost stuck i was like i could use pulse if i had a 6u bar I can use, oh wait i don't have i don't have a 6u in paperwork oh crap this so this is the one side that, i guess this is a downside with going with a uh a, a 6u space bar uh is you yeah. have to make sure you have it in whatever key set um yeah interesting <laughs> huh okay um, did you buy the space bar kit in any other GMK group I, I did. I had some other ones for sure. Um, Histronics, is, is it for, is it Hedgie's first day streaming? Sometimes it can feel like that, man. Sometimes it can. Uh, <laughs> things can be out of my control, uh -huh. just FYI. So, um, no, we're not. We're, it's okay. Um, I think. And again, this is uh, this is more on me rather than you for going like, oh hey, I should do six U, and then. I mean, granted, I thought KVD fan stuff would fit. That's not a, that that happens, right? So, no worries here. We're almost we're almost to the end completion, gentlemen. Everybody, hang tight. I know, gentlemen and ladies, people are like, oh my god, Hedgie must be an idiot. Um, no, it happens. I promise you. Let's stuff this down here. All right, let's find a set with six U. Um, I may have to be basic and do like black on white, uh, or white on black. I mean, um. <laughs> I have a 6U in the... No, this only came with a 7U for a Grand Prix, because I didn't buy the space bar kit with that. Although 40s had some space bars with it. Um, green and purple. I could use... I think this is a 6U. I think I could use um, Terminal. Terminal is definitely an option. As long as it's not offset. Um, I think we might end up with terminal, honestly. I may have to pull down the garbage truck, um, but that was not planned. Let me just triple check. I don't have anything. DSA paperwork came with no six U. Um, <laughs> DCP Pagasso only has a six point two five U. Um, no six U for. God's How does that gray terminal space bar look with your Perpulch keycaps? Oh, that's a good point. I mean, yeah, I mean, it has nothing to do with green on the bar. I like the way you think, sir. Yeah. Let's pull that back out. Let me see. Let's see how, how far off that is from the alphas. Look at you. Damn, that's close enough. Okay, we're gonna throw this right back on. Um, wow, and I'm not using that 6U anyway, and I know it's GMK, or I will know it's GMK going forward, so. 
until I find a better set or one that I want. Now I can actually put Purple back on here. We're back on. Awesome. Thank you. Will saves the day. Uh, you guys definitely make sure you support Will, please. <laughs> he saved the day again. That's awesome. Okay. Close enough. I like that. I pulled a whole four keys, I think, or three keys? Four keys out of the 40s kit. Four whole keys out of the 40s kit, which is funny. We buy that whole 40s kit for just a couple of keys, you know, that happens. I get that. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 recap this again real fast. This shouldn't take long. But, yeah, from, like, an alpha standpoint, this is very similar. Great call, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can't – I can barely tell the difference, if at all. Awesome. No rattle. Okay. I would I would hate myself if that rattled. Oh my god. <laughs> Cuz I want to get to the typing test and then I want to give this I want to give the uh, group by spot away. Yeah. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about the terms of the group by spot giveaway. Um I didn't really kind of get into it, but any base kit configuration, right? Yeah. So Whoever you choose with your, or whoever your system chooses, right? Yep. Um, all you got to do is DM me their name. I'll get in contact with them. And they can choose whichever configuration they want when the time comes. Be it uh, acrylic, aluminum, whatever configuration of bottom, top, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and it will be 100% free. So I will awesome. put the order in myself based on their direction and they won't be charged a dime and they will get the full goodbye kit when everybody else gets their kits. Awesome. Well, I, I appreciate it. I think that's a huge gesture. Um, so thank you so much. It's a big shout out. I hope you guys in chat, uh, whoever wins, really genuinely appreciates it. I think that's an amazing giveaway, uh, all things considered. So yeah, awesome, man. Pat Cole with the sub tier one. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing all right tonight. Got all the regulars in here, which I figured we would, honestly. Um, there we go. I cannot, I literally, I cannot wait to bring this thing to, to work tomorrow and show it off. This looks fantastic. Uh, even with all the issues I've had on my end tonight and getting this being smooth with the, with Zoom, with the keycaps, um, but good save with the, GMK terminal space bar. That's that's a winner right there. It it works. It looks the same. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, that looks almost identical, dude. Yeah, it looks great. I awesome. think it looks great. Awesome. Alright. Now we can finally get around to typing on it. Seeing how it sounds, which is what everybody really cares about. Because if a board doesn't sound good. Not everybody. I think Mace was talking about that. I don't really care about sound. I'm like, you're an alien. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you don't care about sound. Really want yeah. Oh, we just had gifted subs. Nap gifting five tier one subs. Uh, Whoa. RK MX01, Lutang, Melon Red. Melon, I haven't seen him in a while. Latim Keys and Nikki Muzi. Awesome. Thank you, Nap. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Um, we've had a lot of subs tonight. We've had a lot of support. Thank you guys so much. I genuinely do appreciate it. Um, it means a lot, genuinely. Like, I, I truly mean that when I say it. I will never beg for subs or anything like that. So, thank you. That's awesome. All right. So, one completed. Man, what is this weight? This weighs like nothing. Absolutely yeah, nothing. It's like 1.8 pounds or something oh with the aluminum bottom. It's, it's really light. Yeah, aluminum bottom, switches, caps, everything in. One pound, 5.4 ounces. And for example, this is aluminum, and I believe you said this was stainless? That one you have in your hand is aluminum yep. um, and acrylic, so that's going to be your lightest option. Uh, the, alumin the aluminum top yep. is has stainless bottom, so that's your heavier bottom. That's going to be your heaviest option. Okay. So if you take that bottom and use it on your acrylic top, you're gonna get a medium option. Nice. Okay. So a little bit of a little bit of choice, if you will. Um, two pounds, ten point eight ounces. So definitely a big difference between one pound five ounces and two pound ten two pounds ten ounces. 
And then as you said, if I swap, you've got that nice kind of mid-range weight, basically. Right. Awesome. An anonymous gifter is gifting tier one sub to Hedgie's community. Uh, gifter gave uh, SH William a tier one sub. Congrats, that's awesome. Man, we are we are rocking and rolling tonight. I don't know if Embrace is gonna be able to follow this up because we're not giving away anything for Embrace, so I feel like no one's gonna show up. <laughs> Uh, Vanagon's an excellent layout. The thing is the goat. I yes. think uh, plenty of people turn up for that for sure. Yeah, as you see, no, uh, that rarely leaves my desk on stream. So, right. Yeah, there we go. All right, we are plugged in. What I want to do is mute the sound. Uh, I'm going to open up Monkey Type separately, but I bet yeah, this is going to sound incredible. So let's get the microphone down here. Awesome. Uh, 116 words per minute. I'm always proud of my speed. Um, yeah. yeah, this... That sounds awesome, dude. Um, and I'll say this. I, I like Because obviously I've typed on enough boards to know. Um, having it be a uh, polycarb plate with the flex in an acrylic case, like it's kind of muted but not in a bad way like that you could put a normal switch in here like i did and this is a perfectly acceptable office board like even the space bar is not loud and these are pvt caps right the, the alphas are for right. sure so like yeah. from a from a um wow it's really wobbly i wonder if that's the switch or the stabs i will say these c these c3 stabs are wobbly as hell like that's not a that's a look at that that's kind of insane like it presses fine and it doesn't rattle but what the hell is that that's kind of crazy hmm. um anyway outside of that this sounds awesome um i am stoked to use this tomorrow at work like this is going to be an amazing board um and I think, like, you can obviously take some of that feedback around the space bar anyway, but um, no issues with the, the sound. The feel is, again, like, it, it seems like a lot of people are going to that, like, mid-range where P4 is insane with the flex. And, like, yep. Pearl doesn't move because it's a brass plate top mount. It doesn't move. <laughs> like, this is such a nice middle ground where I, I was typing on your aluminum one the other day. Um, and, like maybe an hour of typing and I never got fatigued because like it just kind of it's not a big give but it's just enough to be noticeable and like it's yeah. background right and and there's no like reverb and yeah this is this is something man um yeah this is I like this a lot <laughs> even on a prototype unit and it looks cool I love being able to see the switches that looks so good um like this is I, I think i hope so i hope a lot of you consider acrylic i will say that i hope you consider it um i'm i may have to i may have to eat these stabs i'm not gonna lie i right. may have to eat <clears throat> these stabs wow that's depressing also worth noting that the the uh material i mean acrylic is set in stone but the finish is not set in stone we have right the unit that i have here is not bead blasted at all the one that you have is bead blasted Okay. But even though it is bead blessed, you can still see pretty clearly through it. This one is um, not bead blasted at all. Right. Um, worked with Chris's diamond tooling. And um, I think he finished it with a wax or something like that. But it, it basically looks like glass. And even, if, even though it's a black plate underneath it or bottom, you can still see the... Um, the bottom clearly 
And this might be what we go with depending on feedback. Like I said, we're gonna test all avenues. We're gonna make sure that we get the, the best deal possible, but we may be going ultra clear when it comes to uh, acrylic top. Your your uh, your vaults, some of those were like that ultra clear, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we actually went, the, the original round of vaults did not have that diamond tooling. Okay. Uh, they didn't get as clear as I would like to have been. They were still very clear. They had very good feedback, but I wanted to go even more clear. And I asked him how we could do that. He started showing me the diamond bits and stuff. And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to go in on, um, you know, paying for that tooling to have that done. And uh, we used it for the Curio. Really happy with how it came out, or how it came out. Sorry. And um, we're going to use it for the vaults, and it's going to be like we're typing on class. Nice, so. nice. Yeah, this looks great. I was just uh, just rechecking this spacebar one more time. Um, yeah, I think it's. Uh, I don't know if it's a stab issue. I don't think it's a stab issue. Although it does look like the stabs are pulled back just a hair. I think it's. Uh, I think there's a spacing issue in this 6U where like some saran wrap might do me some good to prevent the wobble because like the switch doesn't really well switch wobbles a little bit not much but not enough to be that insane rocking that i saw that was something else so i don't know oh maybe somebody got asked for um had a question about more frosted for led diffusion mm -hmm. which i understand that um we've got a test unit here that's more frosted um that's better for led diffusion i think and also it's better for um another thing which we haven't mentioned um uh, might be looking into offering uh, a colored dye just like the vaults okay the vaults are all clear they come to be clear they're either frosted or they're, they're glass and we put them through a dye process and we get a bunch of different colors, um, which we could do with the Curio as well. It's it's the same material. Nice. Anyone asking, anyone wondering why I have a bunch of vault cases here? I actually don't. These were um, rejects that were warped dying process. I want to get those straightened out if I can. Maybe sell them to C stocks or something like that. But uh, yeah, we can do any color on the curio that we have done on the vaults so okay. i mean it, it might be an incredible combo depending on what key set you've got if you like say you wanted to do a light purple dye on your acrylic for this particular key set awesome awesome well i'm excited um I, I like this board. I figured out why this spacebar was not sitting right. I'll address that later. I, I'm having spacebar issues. Um, I may be tempted tonight to like go desolder this and just do the stabless way. I, I'm just saying, like, I'm I may go yeah. stabless. Just like it's insane that I'm having so many issues. But um, yeah, for the time being, like this is really good. It sounds amazing, um, and like it looks great. And I hope some of you consider infilling uh, if you get like seracoded. I hope you consider infilling. It's not a hard process. I should do a stream where I teach how to do that. Yeah. Um, it, it just takes time, right? Time and patience. I think that's the key. So, I'll you say, want to do a hundred units for me, or what? Uh, no, I won't do a hundred units, but I might be down to do a couple. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think uh, I think it's about that time to to do the grand grand roll, if you will, the giveaway. Um, yeah. I know everybody's been hanging around. We've had like a continuous 60 plus viewers since we started, which is awesome. Um, I appreciate everybody hanging out here. And, and yes, Murari, streamer having bar issues. I've just had a ton of issues, but it's not like the board. It's like me personally not being prepared for this, right? <laughs> like, oh, hey, these kits all don't have a 6U, and this one that does is offset. That's why it's not a centered. So that explains the issue. If I had the right stabs uh, for... 3U, I think these are 4.25, unfortunately. I don't think I have any 3U stabs. Yeah, that's stabs. offset for sure. So, yeah, that's you know that's on me for not having the right stabs, but I'm still going to find a way to take this to work tomorrow. I just got to – may not have a matching space bar. may have a different key set. I haven't decided yet. We'll go from there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and uh, the other thing I could do is um, 
have enough keys. I could throw on. Um, oh, no, I can't. Yeah, this is going to bother me. I do have a candy bar set. I will say, like, as much as I don't like those old candy bar sets, I still have those. So I could throw on, like, no. white on black, or black on white, I mean, uh, candy bar and, and roll that for tomorrow. We'll see. Right. Um, but anyway, I want to give this thing away, or not this one. I want to give away a group buy um, spot. I'm super excited. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up CloudBot here um, and get that rolling. Give me one second. All right. Just use your thumb on that switch. It'll be okay. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to have to figure out how to cancel Zoom after like a month as well because, yeah. Uh, giveaways. Make sure I didn't already have this up. I did not. All right. Last chance. I'm going to close the giveaway. If anybody else has not entered, now is your last chance. I think we're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Kane entered for his own group by so group <laughs> spot. Yeah. Uh, well, it looks like it looks like everybody has entered. We are good. All right. Entries are closed. We're good. All right. I'm going to pick a winner. Three, two, one. Iowa New. Awesome. Awesome. A uh, a regular here on stream. So that's amazing. Congrats. Nice. Congrats. That's awesome. Um, I would do if you uh, if you DM me a little bit later, I will make sure to get you in, in touch with Will and and get you yeah. set up. Um, but man, even with all these issues, we're under two hours for the stream, which doesn't feel like that. It feels like it was a lot longer. Um, yeah. I'm gonna handle some stuff off stream, especially figuring out if I'm gonna desolder tonight and come mm -hmm. back at this with just Stabless, which is not really like I said. Like I've been using your your build right and. Yeah. Stabless is fine. Um, I think it's just where I hit the space bar is definitely more center because you, especially because you pull the space bar out. Um, that's just something I noticed, and I don't have like a three U stab, so yeah. that's besides the point. But that's a that's a me issue. That's not a prototype issue. Um, I can't say enough good things about this board, man. And really, I appreciate you hopping on, you know, Zoom with me tonight and kind of hanging out while I built it. Um, it's good to kind of have the background there and I hope to do that with more boards. I hope Evan joins me for embrace cause that'll be right. sick. Um, yeah. but yeah, like, and, and I don't know if you can talk about it or not, but this will be as far as I understand, relatively affordable, uh, as far as group buys go, or at least that's the plan, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, for sure the price is going to start with a two. I want it to be mid two hundreds. Um, it may end up being high 200s but it will not start with a three that's awesome that's yeah. awesome yeah you guys you guys heard that no i want can still win don't don't give me that guys uh just because they're not here they're they can still win um i want is a regular if it wasn't a regular i may have an issue with that but i want is a regular here so they can still win that's not an issue sorry um anyway uh yeah that's amazing you guys heard it I, I think that's that's awesome that you have a goal to keep the pricing at a certain amount, which is always yeah. amazing to hear. Um, I think you'll be able to hit that just kind of based on what I know. I hope you guys enjoyed the build tonight, even with all the issues. I hope you support Will. Like, I can't wait to report back after a day of usage with this in the office, and then after a week just to kind of just kind of put this uh, put this through its paces, if you will. But the sound yeah. is amazing. It's very poppy um it looks amazing like this is this is a good piece to talk about like if i go and put this on my desk at work someone's gonna see it and they're gonna want to talk about it right like that's so that's what's cool to me and what separates it so um once again will like all your projects are fantastic thank you for being here i genuinely appreciate yeah, it thank you everybody cool. for rolling in here tonight um and spending your time with me like i i really appreciate that um hopefully in the next two weeks i think i don't know if it'll be next week i'm still going to try and stream next week I don't think Embrace will be here. I think that'll be the week after. Um, Evan should have parts that arrived either today or tomorrow, something like that, and then he'll ship out to me. Um, so yeah, we're 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 gonna keep it going. I'm gonna try and keep the content going. Um, there will definitely be more from Kane, I think, and and me building his stuff on stream. I hope, which is really exciting. And I yeah, hope you guys absolutely. had a really yeah. I hope you guys had a good night. Um, looking forward to it. if you, again, if you have any builds that you want me to do on stream. I don't charge only for shipping you ship it out to me i will happily build it for you i know i'm going to be building a couple oceanographers when we get all the parts in for that 
Um, so like, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's an older build or if it's a newer build, doesn't have to be a prototype. Um, please feel free to send your stuff to me. I'm happy to build for you. Uh, I am doing occasional lubing services. I know for Alex, I'm lubing some of his switches. It's not my favorite activity, but I will do that as well. But that is definitely a cost. So just FYI, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Uh, we'll hang around for a minute and, uh, yeah, yeah we'll see you guys later. Peace.